What's up guys, it's Taser and welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this one I will show you how to um, create this nice little um, shockwave effect thingy. Uh, if you want to see a preview of this then just click the link on the screen right now. And yeah, let's jump right into it. So, first of all you will need um, shockwave from Video Copilot. It costs $65 and if you have the money Please go ahead and buy it. Video Copilot really are the, the best, and yeah. But I'm sure you'll find other ways to get it. And um, another thing you'll need is um, actually another plugin, but this one is free. It's called Color Vibrance, and we're gonna use that to uh, to colorize the shockwave effects. And yeah, so it's free. You can download it right there, and I'll leave a link to this in the description. And yeah, let's jump right into it. So I already started a new comp. Um, this one is 720p, 10 seconds long, 30 frames per second. And yeah, let's let's do this. So um, first of all, you're just gonna wanna go to your Shockwaves Photo JPEG thingy and select any of these that you like. Um, they all look really nice. Um, and if you com you can combine them and add like different colors, different elements, and that makes it look even better. But I'm just going to use um, the one I used in the preview, which is Shockwave 8. So let's, ju let's just uh, drag that in here. So that's what it looks like um, right now. And let's just go ahead and colorize this. So I'm just going to type in Vibrance and drag the VC color vibrance thing in here. And I'm going to use the same color I used for the uh, preview, which is like a nice orange-ish color and then you can play around with the vibrance and um, the brightness and gamma bring this down a bit to add some more contrast and that's pretty much it make this a 3d layer if you don't see this um, little checkbox just press f4 on your keyboard and you'll be able to see that because we're gonna add a 3d camera in just a second so uh, another thing I did for this shockwave to make it look better is add a nice glow and let's just increase the radius like quite a bit and then play around with the threshold as well so it only brightens up the um, brightest parts of our shockwave and then bring down the intensity a bit uh, then I'm gonna add another glow effect this one is called FL glow this is part of a plugin uh, you don't really need this, but um, it's called Frischluft, that's a German word, and you should really get these effects. There are some pretty nice stuff. You can like change this to aberrative and add some nice color to this, like some really fucked up stuff, but I'm going to leave this at standard for now. Uh, increase the radius a bit more, and then turn down the gamma and amount. <coughs> Maybe increase the decrease the radius a bit more so now you can see we have like two layers of glow like one which is like closer to the actual shock wave and one for the overall thing and you can also uh, add these before adding the color vibrance thing that's gonna give this whole thing like a different look but I prefer it this way so um, the next thing we're gonna add is uh, I always like to add some letter boxes like um, black bars at the top and bottom just um, create a new solid turn on your proportional grid take your mouse tool and just drag it along these lines so it's nice and even then invert your mask turn off the uh, grid and then press S for scale and you can adjust this so this gives this whole thing gives this whole thing like a more kind of cinematic look and um, the next thing we're gonna add is uh, some optical flares so this shockwave alone doesn't really look that good so I'm gonna add like flares and particles and all that good stuff so this is go probably gonna be two parts because it's um, not that easy like that quick to do and um, on these optical flares um, on source type change this to 3d because we're gonna have 3d movement later on then go to your preset browser and choose a nice one that you like you can use like different colors and colorize these to make them like fit the scene um, I'm gonna use this one this has like a really nice red uh, reflection thingy 
and yeah just change the layer mode to screen again if you don't see that option just press F4 on your keyboard and I don't know what's going on there I had this um, on the um, actual one too so I don't really know how that happens if you change it to add it's not going to be there but I still prefer the look of screen so um, move that below the data box but we're going to be moving this um, off camera anyways like the actual glow thing so let's just move it like there change the positioning of the center thing and yeah what I like to do is add a levels with individual controls so you can change the lightness of this actual thing and you could also use curves or something for that but I prefer this um, the next thing we're gonna do is um, on the shockwave thing well first of all let's add a new camera uh, make this a one node camera and there you go and now what I want to do is move this shockwave back in Z space and then uh, increase the scaling of it to make it fit again and yeah so because we're gonna add uh, text and all that later and have some depth of field and all that good stuff so yeah so next thing we're gonna do is um, create our particles so create a new black solid let's call this particles and I'm going to use particular for this. You can uh, also use the CC particle word for this, like the one that came with After Effects, but I prefer particular. And um, change the emitter type to box. Crank up the X, Y, and Z um, size of this emitter. Um, Z as well. And let's move that below our letter box. And another thing I'm going to do is increase the particles per second till I have like enough particles for my liking and fill the whole thing and then move them all back in Z space a bit so we have some stuff like that's like really in the background I like to have this below our shockwave um, on the good thing is you can um, matte alpha so this actually is in the foreground of this um, on the color vibrance thing or you could just go there and change this layer mode to screen but I prefer it like this so there's like it's not like you can see if I change this to screen these particles are like way brighter so I prefer it this way and yeah so let's work on the look of our particles and all that stuff, the animation. So uh, when there, you can move this around till there are like enough particles for your liking. I'm gonna have it like this, and then keyframe the particles per second. Go forward one frame, and bring this all the way down because I don't want these particles to be emitting when this is already in the scene. So um, then move this first keyframe like just out of the composition, and yeah, that's pretty much it. On the particle settings. Uh, increase the life of them by quite a lot like our scene is 10 seconds long so I have this like 10 seconds because next thing I'm gonna do is <coughs> set the color over life and then you can um, go to your color over life thingy just get the green off and get the blue off and have this go from like red to yellow so it looks like um, some like as they pretty much die they turn more and more orange yellowish and I just like the look of that and play around with the opacity randomness a bit and also change the particle type to cloudlet and also uh, and bring down the size to like one or maybe two uh, let's play around with the size randomness bring this to two and the next thing we're gonna do is get some movement in here so go to physics air and what I like to do is um, add some motion blur so press F4 again check that box and that one which is pretty much gonna enable motion blur for composition and 
what we're going to do now is uh, bring up the spin amplitude quite a lot and the spin frequency to like 2 or something so we start to see some actual motion blur so bring up the spin amplitude a bit more spin frequency a bit so you can see we have some nice uh, motion blur going on on some of these uh, particles so let me just solo that and show that to you how they look these are actually quite a lot of particles but to be honest I think we can even bring up the amplitude a bit more and um, go to our particle settings and just play around with the opacity randomness bring that up to 100 so we don't see as many of those um, let's just unsolo that so that's looking quite cool already and okay this is like 11 minutes long already let me just see what I can show you in this part um, I think it would make sense to uh, kind of, I don't know really, <laughs> so on the particles, uh, yeah let's work on the camera on this one as well, so uh, I like to have some depth of field going on, um, so I'm just going to turn that on, this is going to reveal some of the particles again, but you can bring up the aperture quite a bit, and the blur level, play around with that, so that's going to um, blur out the shock wave a bit, and some of these particles as well so I'm just gonna go into the particle settings as again go to the emitter and bring the Z size up a bit more so we have some more depth going on and then just bring this back a bit more so now you can see some of these are like fading out over there and I'm not gonna um, get the shockwave in, sh uh, in focus so much because we're gonna have the focus on the text later let's just move that a bit more towards the camera so it's not as blurred so um, just save that alright I guess that will be it for part one um, in part two I'll show you how to add the element 3d text and give this whole thing like a really nice look like on the, on this one uh, so like show you how to color correct it and light the scene and all that and make it look really nice so these are the basics of it um, so yeah leave a like if you want to see part two as soon as you <laughs> as you can like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much gonna um, record the second part right after I think and then just upload it once this reach enough likes or like the next day or something so yeah thanks for watching guys this has been part one of the shockwave element 3d kind of text thingy whatever you want to call this and yeah, leave a rating if you want to see the next part, and thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and have a nice day, bye.